my name is Nikki Copel. Um, I'm a practicing fine artist and freelance artist. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Um, I graduated from the National Arts School back in 2004. And I started professionally um, being a, a practicing artist about five to six years ago. Um, and yeah, I've just followed my passions and um, have, yeah, wouldn't change it one bit now. I absolutely love my lifestyle. So my son just turned one and uh, takes up a lot of my time. Um, but slowly I'm getting back into it now, which is, um, which is great. And um, just getting my online presence back out there. And so not, not so much exhibiting at any galleries at the moment. Um, so mainly just, yeah, selling my work um, online. Art runs in my family. Um, you know, my grandpa was a carpenter and my brother's a sign writer. My mum used to do um, art when she was younger and yeah, then my dad, he's just, uh, you know, painting even now. He's 80 and he still paints every day. My dad, Kurt Copel, he is one of my biggest inspirations. He's just so inspiring and his work is amazing. He's, I think he's more talented than so many people out there, including myself. <laughs> So he had an exhibition recently where he sold 23 paintings and it was just so successful. So I really want to follow in his footsteps um, just to go down that road of, you know, working for myself and putting myself first and with my art, of course. So I've been painting all my life and drawing and doing any art related uh, work, um, sculpting as well. I got into sculpture more so in high school and discovered that I was quite good with clay. I went to Newtown High School for performing arts so the art was um, really nurtured there and I did quite a lot of painting and sculpt sculpting. Um, oil painting was a big thing for me back then. Um, they, some people say I had my blue period, <laughs> um, as some artists do. I had a lot of blue paintings um, that were very much, uh, uh, the subject was dance. I used to be a dancer, so um, in my younger years, I danced all my, all my childhood up until my mid twenties. And uh, that was again, another pretty strong uh, influence of a style in my work. So I used dance as a subject um, quite a lot. I just find the human body very interesting and um, there's always so much I can do with it and I seem to capture it quite well um, over painting a landscape <laughs> if I'm comparing. I'm a lot better at doing portraits and figures um, so I've, I've really stuck to that subject a lot of my life. I haven't really moved on from dance. <laughs> I work in watercolours at the moment. It's my absolute favourite medium and I find it very forgiving uh, what I do. I find it very convenient. Uh, there's no mess, easy clean up. There's no clean up usually. <laughs> I can just go back to my work and start straight away. And I find watercolours is just um, I sell a lot of work and I make money that way, so I've kind of gone down that road um, and I still love it. So words of wisdom for any other artist um, or aspiring artist, uh, look, follow your dreams, follow your passion. Uh, if you've got it in you, go for it. Don't hold back. Um, you can make money out of it. You can run a business. Just put yourself out there. If you have a talent, fantastic, but also just if you have the creativity in you, just follow your passion and go for it.